Thanks for joining us for another episode of Armco TV. Today we're here with our lead technician, Kevin Kirby, and we're gonna show you a little bit about what we do. Okay, so we brought you into our fish room and here at Armco Aquatics, we're not just another retail store, although we are open Saturdays, 11 to five, come see us. We are primarily started as a maintenance company. Kirby's our lead technician, has been heading that up for many years now. So he's with us and he's gonna show you a little bit later about what he's about to go out and do. But we're here today in front of our car from Carl Peninsula to talk uh, kind of a shameless plug on one of our favorite vendors. One of, the, one of our philosophies here at Armco Aquatics is we only use the best tried and true equipment. We don't have any junk, we don't have a lot of things on the walls and all this stuff that isn't going to work. It's only tried and true stuff that we know works. That's one of the reasons that we love our friends at Carl View. They brought back the Ice Cap brand, which I really like. It, I remember back when Ice Cap was putting out the high quality lights that you know you could trust. Carl View went ahead and brought back the brand and they're putting out a couple of different products and every one of them so far has been something that we really like. This is the Ice Cap K2 200 skimmer. Uh, it's an awesome skimmer. A lot less uh, a lot less salt creep on the skimmer. Um, they've got everything from an ozone port. It's really high quality. The gate valve is lower in the skimmer. Really nice stuff. Um, over here we have the tried and true Reef Octopus skimmers, which everybody's probably familiar with. Um, we also have one of their space saving biopellet reactors. The affluent of the reactor going right into the skimmer. Um, this is actually an external recirculating skimmer, but we've got such a big sump we throw it right into the sump. Here we are outside of Kirby's van. We call this the Bubbles van. As you can see, it's got bubbles on the side of it. Um, Kirby gets a lot of beeps and honks probably out there, right Kirby? Far too many, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Kirby's getting ready to go out and install a ice cap ATO top off. We've got a 400 gallon tank in a restaurant in next to PA called Brickside Grill. Kirby's gonna tell you a little bit about what he's doing and why he's doing it. Yes, I'm going, out, I'm going out to install this for a customer who has a little bit of you got a problem in their tank. Um, so this is this was the first auto top off that I suggested to the customer because it's an ice cap, it's top of the line. Um, one of the things I love about it is it's small size, so I got a little bit of a tight area. You don't have to worry about it fitting in anywhere. I know it's going to fit for sure, no matter what. Also love the, the fact that everything is all inclusive in this box. I don't have to play any guest games of this part and that part. Everything I need is in this box. This thing also has a couple features on it, where it's the, the, uh, the redundant optical sensors, so I don't have to worry about water levels overflowing or anything like that. Again, love this ice cap thing. I'm going to install it today. Customer's going to be really happy. All right, sounds good. Uh, and, and once again, shameless plug, we get our ice cap stuff from Carl View. We're the main distributors. Really like their stuff. Good luck today, Kerr. Thanks. And uh, we'll see you at the end of the route. Yep. Have a good one, guys.